definitely recommend a primer for your eyes because it's going to make it last. Do you ever put one of these on? No. Soft okra. Always use your ring finger when you're doing stuff with around your eyes. Just doing a, a normal, like I would say a normal broadcast uh, matte neutral look. The base for right now. Okay. So I would go ahead and put that on both eyes. Rather than tapping and like that, try to do, yeah, just like that. Just a little bit, yeah. And then you can come back to take it right about here and kind of move it in a little bit. So from the outside in? Yeah, outside in and then like kind of brushing up really soft and feathery. No apologizing, I'm here for you. Little side to the little side of my eye. So that's Visart. Visart Neutral Matte 01. I think when you're trying to do a liner, lay it on your lashes and then just kind of drag it across. I think it's too, it's too thick. I don't know. I'm just not used to, I guess. All of it. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> Don't like... pull your eyes. High piece. Mm -hmm. My eyes just don't open the way yours do. Yeah, well, just maybe go like this. Like, when you're starting. It's because I'm patient. You're putting the product on in that little pie-shaped area, then you're taking it all off. Otherwise, you're just going to move that color all around instead of blending it. So typically, it it. so typically I only put concealer on like my blemishes. Um, I used to have bad acne. Um, and now we're gonna try a whole face of foundation. No, I made that sound like it was a lot. A natural light face of foundation. I'm Shinto too, with a kabuki brush. Okay, We've yeah. changed the lighting circumstance so I don't look like a blotch. Let's just finish up with the eye. You have your own mascara that you want to use? I use the um, orange one, typically. That's, one? that's what I have. Oh no, I make a weird mascara face. Okay. You should do it here. <laughs> This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro, then this wax. Okay, I don't put things on my eyebrows, but we can no. we can do it. You don't have anything on your eyebrows right no, now. No, this is my eyebrow color. Wow. NARS on top, MAC on the bottom with bronzer um, is put it on in kind of like a three. And you're just gonna kind of put it right in the temples, very gently, mm -hmm. and then mostly coming right here under your cheekbone, accentuating. Is that okay? Okay. So that's gonna kind of be our bronzer. Every time I look at myself, I just realize that I need lipstick. So you're using the contour, and you're using a little bit of a brighter color, and then you're using pretty bright color on the top. And then that kind of gives that roundish feeling to okay. it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And then you're just gonna put this kind of like all over. And this is gonna kill the shine. Perfect. Okay. Um, now, you have specifically asked about um, lip stuff. Lips. And I'm more of an actual makeup artist, not an instructor. <laughs> but, um, do I just meh, meh? I would shape your lips first in the way that you want to shape them or line them in the way that you want to shape them and then um, fill them in. I don't usually wear anything on my lips um, besides comics. I want this one. Lime Life. It's, they're now called Lime Life. Mm. So when you vlogged, what did you vlog about? Yeah. Oh, just my life. Not nothing to do with makeup ever. Nice. Oh, what do I think about my makeup? Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I like the non-glitter eyeshadow colors. Yeah. I don't like the glitter. 
All right, guys, so we are done here today. Orlando City paid to bring someone in to teach the Orlando City broadcast team how to do our own makeup, which I am super grateful for. Thank you, Orlando City. So we brought in Tracy. Hi, I'm Tracy Severo. I do hair and makeup um, in Orlando and elsewhere um, for TV, print, um, conventions, all types of stuff, commercials. And she did awesome, and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and everything she shared with us, and you like my makeup.